Yeah, what's up YouTube doing a sales video, uh, you know, I'm gonna leave the other items behind the camera Obviously, it's just easier. So I'm just gonna like put the letters and stuff in front So basically we're getting to this we sold an EV coin for 650 We sold a dark Jolteon a card a dark Jolteon. Let me put this bigger screen so I can see right so we sold a dark Jolteon. Yeah, Right, that's that. We sold a tentacle from Primal Clash. Yeah, right, there you go. One find eight, yeah. That's that. We sold a horror. Oh, no, that was refunded, actually. That was a, a US sale for some reason that didn't go through, uh, like, the actual, you know, ship to the US kind of thing. So we sold a Yu-Gi-Oh card for £2, yeah, uh, which is there, right. We sold a GT 1030, uh, which is a graphics card, which is not related to Pokemon, but it's a sale, yeah. Uh, then we sold a Charmeleon, right, uh, which is seven pound. Reverse Hollow from Dragon Majesty, pretty hard to get, pretty hard to come across that one. Right, we sold a Miri's Request, uh, 2006, uh, eight quid. We sold that. Right, and then we also sold a Raichu from Sword and Shield, £1.50. You know, a lot of people, like, a lot of these small sellers, people underestimate. Like, you get a lot of money back when you get a lot of them. You think if you have, say, a £2 card, if you sell 100 £2 cards, right, you know, it works out like it works out good right you know those cards um that those cards that you actually sell right it, it's it's useful you know it's useful um so we sold uh magby for 14 quid which is a first edition uh neo genesis card you know money on that uh, yeah, so like obviously all the small stuff the small stuff is the best stuff a lot of people buy the small stuff When you ain't got no big stuff to sell Yeah, uh, you know the small stuff is the best just to occupy time and get uh, Money back, you know that you can either spend on other things or you can put back into buying a bigger box or whatever something you want But you know most of this money. I'm taking out of Pokemon right now uh, Pokemon damage counters for TCG play Right, uh, 358. And then we sold a horror energy card for 150. Yeah, this is from like Rebel Clash. So, you know, that's a whole, pretty much an awful set. But, you know, we sold a Battle Academy Pikachu for £1.50. Right, big sale, yeah. Big, big chachinka, yeah. Got a PSA 9 U2 for 250. Yeah, boom, that's gone. Right, and then we got. A Sword and Shield promo, Troxicity for 250. I've not even been putting these here. Like, you know. <laughs> right, then we sold an APOM for £3 from Neo. Uh, what's that? Neo Revelation? Yeah, there's one as well. Uh, we sold a Boss's Orders from. Um, yeah, I kind of revealed that uh, buyer then, yeah. So 140 for that. Uh, we sold. Oh yeah, then there were, I think there was like two items that I kind of like missed. Um, what was it? Oh, so someone, I sent them a card and I had two and I sent them the wrong one, right? And then obviously they said, oh, you know, you sent, this is not the one that I received. And I'm like, oh, I had two listings. I must have not checked it. Yeah, no, that basically made a mess up. Um, you know, so... It's not too bad, that's all of those, you know, there's a, a sign for item, um, yeah, obviously that, you two will go special delivery, yeah, one day, uh, I'll do like one day shipping on all that stuff, then we had a graphics card, and obviously a sign for item, that's basically it, so, you know, then again, it's like 16, probably like 16, 17 items, and then one of these was a card, I sent them the wrong one, uh, by mistake, yeah, uh, I don't know what happened, like, I've got that many cards of the same, like, they look identical, and I'm like, oh, I'm sure it's this one, so I didn't really, like, you know, it's the first time I've done that in a long time, you know, 
Um, probably like a year. First time I made a mistake in like a year, sending someone the wrong card. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, mistakes happen, yeah? So remember, when you have a lot, right? This is just average, like, on a weekend, you know? This is all right on a weekend, to be a bit. Some people don't, like, sell as much or sell anything, you know? You, you know, these cards that you have around, like your bulk, or, you know, these cards could be sitting in your bulk, and you'd be like, I could actually sell these and make some money back. But, you know, some people don't want the time or the effort to do it and I mean all you need is a light box a camera you know a bit of cardboard people are asking in videos do I use top loaders to ship cards the answer to that question is no I do not use top loaders I use card yeah I've showed you many times or I've showed people many times obviously maybe there's not like people that so this is basically a box right this is a box and this has got a card in it right it's got pieces of card in it right so I get like a piece of card which is rigid yeah and then I'll get another piece of card right like uh, see this one this one's a bit thicker so if this is a thick card this is actually from an elite trainer box so this is an elite trainer box one so I cut up an elite trainer box if you cut up an elite trainer box you get about Four, four, four or five pieces out of the top half. And if you know the newer ones, uh, for example, for a video, you get like this, right? So these ones have got these weird shapes on. So basically what I like to do is I like to cut those down. Yeah, so this is basically you get a sleeve and then you just tape it to this. Tape that side, that side, boom, job done. The, the car don't move. Or you can get, you know... Uh, there's a lot of elite trainer ones in it like you know these are a lot of the in my box right so these are my cards you know I don't use top loaders top loaders are used for grading I can't send uh, pieces of card to grading companies with the card attached to it can I come on think about it yeah and then obviously I use thin pieces of cards I use different thin pieces yeah I cut up cards it's just something you have to do um, you know and then I use like thinner pieces right so you know if you don't have stuff like this uh, I would suggest looking into things like your cereal boxes if you eat cereal yeah a cereal box is basically a perfect yeah it's a perfect item you can use you know a cereal box if it's not damaged you know or even your friend yeah you go around your friend's house and you notice he's got a cereal box and he's chucking it away. Yeah, I do this with my friends that, you know, my friends have dogs, yeah. And Baker's is uh, that box, yeah. Whatever they, they put it in a bag, yeah. So just like a cereal box, the food is in a bag and it's in the box. So the box doesn't smell, yeah. So the box, you know, you can cut the box up and the box will get you like six cards. You can ship like six cards with that box because it's so strong. If you sell 10 cards at a weekend, what what does it take you to sh to cut up a, a, a small box? It doesn't take you any time at all, basically, to cut these boxes up. But, you know, it could take, like, five, two minutes, you know, two minutes to just cut a box up real quick. Yeah, bam, this all your cards done, right? You know, the next week you might go see your friend. You might see he's got another one. You might be like, yo, save me all your boxes next time, bro. So, as, as through the week, he's buying all his dog boxes. Basically, he gives you that box. And you know, why are you doing something? Why are you watching a podcast or a video? You can sit there just chopping card. If you don't want to do that, then buy top loaders. But top loaders cost £80 for a thousand. Yeah? That's 8p that you're chucking away if you use card. Card's free. So, that means that £80 can go towards something else. Yeah? Like, for example, me. That money goes towards GPUs, mining, stuff like that. Yeah? Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time. Peace.